Hey guys, this is Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Sagittarius, their weekly love read. Sag, this is for the week of the 16th through the 22nd. Uh, we are going to do past, present, and future in love for you. And then we are going to get... Um, sorry, and then we're going to get uh, some oracle cards, some message cards, and we're going to finish off the read with a um, celestial forecast by Carrie... Songs in the Key of Love card. All right, Sagittarius. These are general reads, so keep whatever resonates um, with you and leave the rest. If you feel like this is definitely not your read, then please feel free to check your moon or your rising signs. If you're unclear to what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below. You can get um, that information to check it out. There's also a link in the description box below for my personal webpage if you're interested in a personal read. Um, well, let's get started, guys. Uh, so at the bottom of the deck, we have uh, the Five of Swords. We have stress, anxiety, feeling defeated, worry. We also have the Justice card, which could potentially be a divorce. It could be getting your life in balance, cutting things out that aren't serving you. And the Hermit card, which represents a Virgo or just kind of pulling yourself away for healing. But I definitely feel um, from you guys that there is potentially some uh, stress here. But your cards don't look super bad, so I'm not going to take this as a divorce situation. I'm going to take that as balancing your life out. So I do feel that there's some stress and anxiety and worry. I feel like you feel like you've been defeated quite a bit, Sagittarius. Um, in your situation. So in the past, I definitely see you um, I, f I feel like you had a, a marriage or have a marriage. Um, this Ten of Pentacles energy is a, a blended family. It's a, a committed, loyal, loving relationship. It's a marriage. It's the house. It's the kids. It's the dog. It's um, you know, definitely a committed situation in love. So I feel like, I feel like you're probably married, Sagittarius, um, or in a long-term commitment that's been stable. Um, I do feel like you're feeling as if you missed out on an opportunity in something. I'm not really clarifying for anybody tonight, so I'm not going to pull out my clarification deck, but, um, or you're feeling bored in this marriage. Um, and you, um, yeah, I mean, she looks bored, right? She looks unhappy. So I feel like you might be a little bit unhappy. But um, unbeknownst to you, Sagittarius, I feel like this is a wish fulfillment with this Nine of Cups energy here. Um, so weirdly, sometimes the Four of Cups is a missed opportunity. I don't feel like this is a missed opportunity. I feel like you're in a committed relationship in which you're a little bit bored about, but it's truly a wish fulfillment for you. That's what the cards say, guys. I don't know. Um, I definitely think you are in a stable, committed, grounded, loyal situation, though, in the past. In the present, I feel like um, you're working on it still, like, right? So you're getting this uh, seven of pentacles, and you're planting these seeds, and you're watching things grow to fruition. So I think that you're working on the situation in which perhaps you were bored. But for some reason here, we have you, like, seeking information. This page of wands is, like... Could be like cyber stalking in terms of um, trying to gain information about somebody. It could also be gaining more knowledge yourself. But I kind of feel like you're seeking information about the person you're with. Could be through electronic means or not going directly to them. I also feel like you're showing up here, um, Sagittarius, very much in this energy of trying to use your head over your heart, trying to cut out what no longer serves you. I feel like you are trying to like critically analyze the situation that you're in. Um, but you're still putting in effort too. So that's the thing that like, I'm, I'm not sure you're gaining information. You're cutting out what no longer serves you, but you're still putting in effort and trying to kind of tend to the seeds that have been planted in the situation that you're in. So, um, yeah, I think that's an interesting energy. Your future, though, is super, super bright, guys, because um, you've definitely, you're definitely in a true love or have a true love soulmate connection. Um, we have the Magician, we have the Two of Cups, and we have the Page of Pentacles. So the Magician is like manifesting your soulmate, really putting things out to the universe of what you want, right? 
Um, so I feel like perhaps you're praying and working on your situation in the future. You're going to manifest this good, great, solid, committed marriage or union, this true love soulmate situation. I feel like that's what you're manifesting, but it comes at a very slow pace with this page of pentacles. It's a slow and steady race. It's a slow and steady process. Um, but this, this happiness and this union will be there. This manifestation of this soulmate, love connection, true love, marriage union will be there. I think it is there. You're just, um, I don't know what's tripping you up. Um, I think it's there, and I think that's what you're working on, but it's just, it's a slow pace. <clears throat> so that's a very nice future. I mean, you, your true love soulmate union card, that two of cups is nice energy. All right, let's get a couple of sacred healing journey cards for Sagittarius and their person from Angelic Revelation 144. Threefold, God, masculine and feminine, tree of life. Celebrations, parties, engagements, weddings, pregnancies, and birth. Emotions, wanting to make an offer but fears rejection. And divine downloads, messages from spirit. <laughs> so I don't have an actual card that would um, show this, but I think that there are signs everywhere all the time, right? So you need to just be mindful and watch for those messages from spirit. Um, emotions, make, wanting to make an offer but fears rejection. So I feel like this could be you or your person um, in the situation. I feel like there's probably some tension in there with that Five of Swords energy, but then I really don't see that across the board. So I'm not sure if that's just feeling defeated for you. But I think if you if you pay attention to your these downloads, um, if you trust in God, um, then things will be okay and you'll, you'll have a lot to celebrate. I really do feel like this two of cups energy in the future is just a really promising energy. And you already have the ten of pentacles from the past situation with a wish fulfillment. So I think it's the same thing. I think it just gets smoother. All right, guys, let's get, um, let's get an, a romance angel oracle card. Two of them for Sagittarius and their person or Sagittarius and their love situation very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and that's that manifestation right what is it that you want what is it that you want to do do you want to fix this do you want to break it do you want to make it what do you want to do with it and then attraction you're tran you're you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully healing family issues is on the bottom of the deck your love benefits as you forgive your parents so that might be a message for you too sagittarius all right, we're going to get a couple of Hermit Tarot messages, um, Hermit Tarot channeled love messages from the Hermit Tarot. Five just popped out. It says, if I follow you, I could lose everything. Sorry. We have, yeah, nah. I just want you all the time. I just want you all the time. Eight. We have a five and an eight. And then we have another five. I can't even look at you right now. Um, and I feel like that might be part of that tension, right? The two fives, if I follow you, I could lose everything. I can't even look at you right now. The five of swords on the bottom of the deck energy is another five. So I definitely see there's some stress here. I don't know what fives mean. I think fives mean like, um, like challenges and then like it changes over into... Um, positive and then um, then just on the bottom of the deck you know I'm looking I have I am terrified nine and you are so beautiful why do you need me nine so we have two nines two fives and an eight if numbers mean anything to you all right let's get a couple of uh, love vibe cards from king of aloha I don't think we feel the same about this uh, yeah, I think there's definitely conflict between you and your person. I can't keep on waiting. I can't keep waiting on you. I kind of feel like that's your person, guys. I'm just playing the field right now. Oh, I don't need any more cards, but I'll take one more. We have a lot of differences. Yeah, I definitely think there's some conflict um, with that Five of Swords overall energy. But I think it's going to all work out all right. 
All right, let's get a couple, or I'm sorry, let's get a Heart Songs card from uh, Celestial Forecast by Carrie's Deck Songs and the Key of Love. These are actually song lyrics, Sagittarius, so please, um, you take the lyric. If you if it doesn't resonate, you might just need to listen to the lyric itself, or it might remind you of you and the person on your mind when you read this. So your song is um, Can't Help Falling in Love from Elvis Presley, and the lyric part that they took from that song is, like a river flows surely to the sea, darling, so it goes, some things are meant to be. So can't help falling in love with, um, I can't talk today. Can't help falling in love by Elvis Presley. All right, Sagittarius, I hope you guys enjoyed this read. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. I so appreciate your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching, guys. And until, until next time, take care. Bye-bye.